Welcome back. Now in this video, we will start working right on the UI design for the profile screen. So we will implement a card in which we will show the username, email, phone number, and your account information, which will be right inside the card that we will implement. So let's start working on that. We will go right in the widget build. As you guys can see, there we go with the widget build. Okay. Now down in there below this background color in here tag this down and in here you'll have a body and right in the body we will implement that so in here we will say center widget okay it's gonna be right in the center of the screen so in here center widget and you will have a child right in there okay now we will say if there is loading okay there we go that we just implemented before right in the previous video so if BOB is loading then you will remove that and write in the if in here right in the center of the screen so in here will have center widget and then we will have a child right in there and right in the child we will show the circular progress indicator in case of if BOB is loading okay so I hope you can get the idea and write in here parenthesis okay and add the const modifier right to the center widget all fine you can cut this from here cut it and add it right in front of center widget okay that's fine now we will take this down and in here we will have else there we go okay as you guys know if there will be any loading then we will show the circular progress indicator and if there will be no loading then right in else we will implement the design that I told you already the card and the account information for the user right in the profile screen okay so right in else right in here okay we will say a single child scroll view okay in here comma and tag this down scroll it now right in this widget we will have a child and right in the child we will do some padding so padding right in there as usual we will have an edge in sec we will go with a dot only and we will set this to top zero now we will tag this down right in here We'll have a child in here and then we have stack widget right in there. Right in the stack widget we will have a children and right in the children we will have that card that I told you already okay that we will implement. In here comma and take this down. Now write in this card. First I'll set the color for this card and the color that we will choose we will go with a white tan also we will set the margin for that card so in here as in sec we will go with a dot all we will set it to 30 it's going to be for all of the card and then we will choose the shape and the shape is going to be rounded rectangle border as you guys can see the suggestion take this down we will set the border radius and border radius gonna be dot circular and we will set this to 10 at it and comma now simply just add the const modifier now let's move further and below down in here we will say child and right in the child we will do some padding okay right in here as usual as in fact we will go with the dot all and we will set this to 8.0 and down in here child again now we will have a column widget and right in the column widget what we will do we will set the cross axis alignment property we will set this to start so cross axis alignment dot start it is going to be right in the start and then we will say children right in the children scroll it down first add in here the const modifier 
all fine now I will just show you that card but we didn't set the height here but anyways I'll show you the card now so if you guys didn't hold to load the app simply come here and hold to load the app from here okay so I have already hold to load the app there is no need of that do it, it again I will just simply press the control S and you guys will notice the output there we go with the card as you guys can see okay right in here right in the center of the screen we didn't set the height here that's why the shape is like that okay it's in circle rounded now what I'll do right in the children I'll just set the height so in here we will say size box and in here comma drag this down now you say height and you will set it 200 now add the cons modifier just press the control s and you guys will notice the output there we go with the card as you guys can see now now the next thing that we will do we will just simply show the name of the user okay so below this size box in here you will say align widget okay in here comma and tag this down right in the align we will set the alignment so we will set it right to center so we will remove that and you will say dot center that is fine now child and I have the text widget in here and right in the text widget we will say name and right in the name we already get the username right in this string type variable name okay as I explained this in detail right in the previous video now we will say if that name equals to no if there will be no name then writing if take this down in here string and write in the string what I'll do I'll pass the text so in here name here in case of if name is equal to null if there will be no name then we will show that text okay and now we will have a else scroll it down first now in that case what I'll do first let me tell you if that name not equals to no it simply means that if there will be name then we will show that name so in here we will simply say name with a null check there we go and in here comma all just fine and you guys can see that red lines in here because we make this const okay so in here just remove that const key okay what I'll do I'll just simply add it to the size box remove it from the children okay from here and add it to this size box so the error will be gone then as you guys can see already now let's do some style for that name so in here we will say style and as usual text style right in here let's set the color for that name so we'll go with the colors dot white and also let me just add the font size font size is going to be let's say 24 and that is fine why not you can add it or leave it it will not cause any problem okay so font size will be 24 and let's add the const modifier to this text style so the yellow line will be gone there we go as you guys can see okay so we have successfully add that align as you guys can see and in here we just implement the code for showing the name as you guys can see okay now simply I'll just press the control s and you guys will notice that there we go with the Ali okay as you guys can see the result right in the center of the screen Ali and currently we are online by the Ali account okay guys so there we go with their current username Ali now let's move further and you guys can also see the card it's expand okay now we will show the account information and down in here in this card but first we will give some height between that name and the account information text that we are about to implement so there is gonna be a height and also we will add the divider so it's gonna look more beautiful so what I'll do below this align widget in here 
I'll add the size box and in here I'll set the height to 15 and add the cons modifier so the yellow line will be gone there now below the size box first in here comma now I'll set divider in here comma so we will give the thickness to that divider 1 and the colors gonna be colors dot white add the const modifier so that's how it's going to be between the name and the divider that we just implement now we're going to also add the height between the divider and the account information text that we will implement so below this divider what i'll say size box in here comma and tag this down let's add the height to 30 okay add the const modifier to the size box now below the size box in here I'll say padding now in this padding as usual set the edge insect we will go with the dot all we will set it to 10 pointer and child in here text widget now in the text widget string we will say account information there's the text that we will show just in a while first let me complete that so in here I'll do some style for that text so as usual text style text style there we go and first let me just set the color and also we will set the just font size so what I'll do I'll simply copy this from here copy it and go down in here I'll just take it back and in here paste it okay as you guys can see the color white and also the font size now just add the const modifier so the code will be clean from these yellow lines there we go now I'll show you that tax okay now simply press the control s and you guys will notice that there we go with the account information and there we go with the divider and there is a height between the account information tax and the divider and also the height as you guys can see right in here between the name and the divider okay that height then we just implement 15 and also 30 so what I'll do I'll just change the color for that so it's going to be a little change from that name and also we will set the font size a little small so in here we will say white we will go with the 54 it's going to be a little change and the font size is going to be a little small set it to 22 now press the control s and you guys will notice the change there we go okay account information so this video is getting a little lengthy we will end this video right in here and right from the next video we will work further okay so for now as you guys can see we just implement all of that code and explain this in detail and you guys can see the result right in here so that's it for this video see you in the next one